by all the people for the Beaufort McDonald's Hotel. Can you just give us a big yes? Three, two, one. Go and eat your bloody McDonald's somewhere else. Welcome to Beaufort. A small country town located two hours outside of Melbourne, with a population just shy of 1,500 people. These people moved to the country because they hate change, they hate development, that'll destroy the town, and they just want something a bit more quiet. Which is why we're building the biggest McDonald's in the world, right here in the middle of Beaufort. That is an insult. And they're like, oh, I just want you to go away. Just they go to the fair. We hosted a fake town hall meeting. Why don't you ever stop? You're a pig. No, you told what me you wouldn't do that. I think oh, I've heard enough of you. So I'm going home. Even the news reporter in council came. I'm from the local papers. I'm from the local council. I'm Dennis from the Shire. This is how we pranked an entire town. If someone steals this van, Honey. good on <laughs> It's legit Cheers. the biggest Cheers. Right here, Ready to support the McDonald's boat? I'm right here. You smell like McDonald's, but did you get some on the way here? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm getting camera shot. We have to book a car because we can't be driving around this thing and pulling up to people's houses going, hey, we're from a serious construction company, so. I was imagining like a fancy car rental place or something. <laughs> we're in business, fellas. We are open for business. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> God, it actually looks so weird. Wait till you see the other we have. The They're going to talk about this until they die. Most exciting thing to happen. Yeah, ever <laughs> happened in both of Vegemite was invented there. It yeah. wasn't invented there. The guy was born there. He didn't even invent it in Beaufort. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have it's it. from Beaufort. The biggest thing to come out of Beaufort, the guy that invented Vegemite. <laughs> Pretty all right thing. Vegemite was about to become the second biggest thing to come out of Beaufort, with our state-of-the-art Maccas being the first. We have got an Airbnb in Ballarat 30 minutes out of Beaufort because we can't really be pranking the citizens of Beaufort and then staying in some motel in Beaufort. It's a small place. We have spent a lot of money, a lot of time preparing for this video. We have the most props we've ever gotten in a video. They have to believe us. It wouldn't make sense for them not to believe us. No one goes to this much effort. No one makes fake pens. Like, <laughs> that's what you're worried about, the pen. Mineware Construction is actually a Chinese company. So it's not creating any local jobs, it's just creating overseas 1500 jobs. 1,500 overseas jobs. <laughs> We're the ones coming in, scoping out if it's gonna work. But our bosses, it's me and our team. Um. <laughs> We got flyers to give to people. Pop is the CEO and he quotes, this is the best time to build. Beaufort needs it, I'm gonna do it. The plan is to just have a massive town hall meeting on the second day and just see how many people we can get. <laughs> the reason why we're doing a Chinese company is because if we just did some place here, people could easily search up a building over here. You'd put a Chinese address, they just sent down a rabbit hole, they can't find shit. We're trying to prank an entire town at the same time. Like, it has to be believable. That's why we went with the Asian company. There you go, Shaga. What are you up to? We're constructing the, the biggest McDonald's. Where? Beaufort. Beaufort's not very big. Do you think the locals at Beaufort will be receptive towards a 20-story McDonald's hotel? Nah. Would you say Beaufort's Australia's best kept secret? I know what's there. <laughs> Nick, do you have anything to say to the people of Beaufort? No. They want to see a nice McDonald's hotel. Imagine all the truckies. Now, like, where do we stay on our drive to Adelaide? We can pull into a car park at the back of a petrol station, or we can stay at the brand new, renovated, modern McDonald's hotel. 20 stories, $35 million projected project cost. Fire station across the road is made of wood. <laughs> we could have built a hotel in this park, but it actually expands the whole way. <laughs> I didn't realize how big it actually was. Both of it is just one street and it's shops on that side and shops on this side. And we're conquering an entire side. They're gonna be like, what about the jobs of people that have had a shop here for 60 years? Oh my God, I hope this works. Maybe the locals do want a McDonald's. <laughs> well, it was time to find out.
Real nice to meet you. We're from Mineware Construction. Yep. How would you like to see this town prosper? What does that mean? Have another gold rush? Yeah, grouse. Yeah, yeah. grouse, yeah, yeah. Not those sorts of nuggets. Yeah. Mick nuggets. We're gonna build the biggest McDonald's in Australian history in Beaufort. True, that'll be all right, yeah. Yeah, you want yeah. that? Yeah, that'll be all right. It's gonna be 20 stories. 20 stories? Hotels, fucking car parks. We're gonna have to knock down half the town. So where's all them shops going? Well, they won't be around anymore. Oh, I don't want that. Who's paying for it all, it. Beaufort? The Chinese government. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. So this building's a bit old, no? Yeah, I love that. That will have to be knocked down. That's heritage listed. Well, I mean, when you have ties with the Chinese government, nothing's heritage listed. What about you move it? We could probably talk to the bosses and we could get a miniature replication of it in the hotel lobby. Yeah, what about that? Apparently the clock's not even accurate. Yeah, it is. It, it is? is? I look at it every day. People though. are saying it's about a couple minutes off. Oh. Like, you can't have that. If the whole town's two minutes late to work, <laughs> yeah, true. it would be, you know? That's probably a good excuse. I bet you've used that one before. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. So this is where it's going to be. See this whole entire block? All down, knocked down, rubble. Uber Eats, you're going to get Uber Eats here? Oh, yeah. Do you like Uber Eats? No. Nah. Yeah. Crazy stuff in both. Of them. You'll be able to bloody see the golden arches from here, yeah, I reckon. Yep. Depending on what way the sun rises and sets, you might actually get a bit of shade. Oh, I don't want shade. A bit of shade's not the worst though. What okay. do you think of that? It's good. Me, personally, I fucking hate the look of it. We spent uh, a lot it, of time on this. What do you not like about the look of it? Looks like it comes from Melbourne. If you actually have a look at the first one here, yeah. bringing city to rural. Mate, there is that many hidden gems of towns in Australia yeah. that are just asking for it. Someone who put it best yeah. is our CEO, yeah, Gibby. Yeah, we are bringing in a bunch of overseas workers to help construct it. Is there any chance I could get a job doing it? Uh, no, mate, it's no. all overseas jobs. Oh, yeah. And all the building materials, yep. this is what you're going to like, yeah. are all being sustainably sourced oh, yeah. from China. Yep. But, yeah. So she might fall down. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's been a pleasure. Right. It's yeah. still in the early works. Uh, those f***ing hard working son of a from China are going to make sure this happens. Have a good one, mate. How would you like to see huge economic growth in the area? Oh, um, no. Signing no. collaboration opportunity. We're going to have 1,500 uh, Chinese workers come over and work on the project. Would you be happy to maybe house a few of them? Hey, mate, I'd kill them. If they wouldn't conform to my standards, I'd just smash them. <laughs> Would you like a McDonald's in the town? Something to be You're in bloody luck. What was your name, sorry? Hey, Hachi boy. Can I have a game? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll documents here. So yeah, that'll be gone. Capiche. This one? Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. knock it over. It'll increase the value of houses and stuff. We, uh, we could actually see the exact opposite happen. You think so? Yeah. The rotunda's a bit of an eyesore. It needs to be updated. Yeah, we'll update it all getting rid of. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. mind if we put a bit of propaganda on your lawn, would you? No, I don't mind at all. Thank all you, right, Matt. I appreciate you. that. Yeah, no problem at all. All right. Well, cheers, Shagger. Have a good one. Thanks, Harold. Thank Take you. care. All right. You can have I support both of McDonald's Hotel. Oh, thank you very much. That did cost a bit. Yeah. I might pinch that back. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. The thought that counts. G'day, mate. How you going? Would you know where the closest McDonald's is? Yeah. Bye -bye. Wouldn't it be nice if there was one closer? Nah. Hopefully one day. In my lifetime. There could be one coming sooner than you think. Bit of a revolution, I reckon. The locals wouldn't like a McDonald's. Nah. How would you like to see a 20-storey McDonald's hotel in the centre of Beaufort? No, it wouldn't happen. Well, it just might. What do you mean, 20-storey? So this is a one-storey house. I know that. And then yeah. on top of that, and then on top of that again, and then on top of that again, and that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One more on top of that, that's 20. So you'll be able to see it from here. <laughs> well, are you fair dinkum or are you just surmising that this could happen or it will? So why would they put it at both of them? Well, they've got to build it somewhere, mate. Would you go down there a bit? I wouldn't touch it, no. Do you think you can get on the phone with my boss and just tell him as a voice for Brentford? Here he is. Hello. <laughs> I just tell them these guys here that, that the hotel wouldn't go here. The locals wouldn't be for it because it's just not on, it's too high. As... <laughs> what does he say? Look, you can say what you like, mate, but we, we wouldn't support it. We'd have We just moved into the town, I can tell it's nice and peaceful, and that's why I'm staying. Lee, can you slow down? Slow down a little bit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
So do you, Jason Joe. Be being chilling. Oh, I can't say that. No, no, no. We'd be against it for sure. Do you want to just do you want just tell him to f off? No, hurry, mate. Hurry. <laughs> see ya. Hey, well, you're being chilling. Thanks for that, mate. That actually saves us a lot of uh, a lot of legwork. This is Lee again. Oh, he's probably not happy. Yeah, he's on the phone now. Hey, Lee. Hey, well, you're being chilling. Well, aren't you and being chilling? Well, that's or not. I don't agree with it. Lee, slow it down, mate. Sorry, I can't understand him. I'm wasting my time his yeah. time. We'll put you down as a maybe on the hotel. Put me down as no bloody maybe, mate. Put me down as a no. So we're still at the house. The guy's on the fence about it. He's a maybe. No, he's not. No, 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 no. He's a soft maybe. I'm not going to say that to him. God, he can be rude. He can be rude as much as he likes. He can tell me to go jump on a horse, but he can go and jump on one too. How much room you got? Right here. Yep. Mate, we could put a demountable out here. No, 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 no. No. no, no. Construction may be coming to Beaufort. In Beaufort? Yeah. Where do I sign to get, and I say, stick it out where I I wouldn't say that to our CEO. I would. You would? Yeah, They've got Chinese and, and, money. It's... I don't give a fuck if it's fucking... Money's money, my friend. You know yeah, I know, I mean? but they've just got a lot of money. Yeah, I know, but money's money. It's also going to create 1,500 overseas jobs. So overseas jobs? Yeah. What's wrong with the unemployed local? Well, you realise what you just said to me? Why the f would that interest anyone here? It's going to change the city. So you're going to f a good town? My bad. We're installing a 5G plant. So some of the fastest internet both yeah, it's ever no. seen. Are you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay. Make a few phone calls. Yeah, we People think... like it, won't want it. Want it. And All right. Be given one day's notice at the service station. Can I offer you a mindware pen? Yeah, why not? I'll put you down as a maybe. Okay. We are here to change Beaufort forever. No, don't do that. What? McDonald's. You like it? Oh yeah. Wipe out IGA and all that. Well, IGA, we're trying to see if we can get it in one of the top floor, 17th, 17th floor, floor. I think we've reserved for them. How would you like to have your house being a building materials drop-off point? Like just, if they take, they'd take this out. We put tarp down, wouldn't ruin yeah, your grass or anything. You're down as a yes? Yeah, as long as your supermarket was on the lower floor. The bloke who owns the IGA, he didn't say shotgun. And shotgun's something you say if you want it, and like, yeah. That'll be gone, the old fire station. What about the bakery? Be yeah, that's gone. Fuck that I off. I go there every day. Oh, well, there will be a McCafe. You can't sell me McDonald's, so I don't eat McDonald's. No, well, you will. No, I won't. You will be. No, I won't. You, you will be eating. No, I won't. Well, there's no other options. Eddie, I'll let you in on a little secret, all right? We're actually applied to change the name of Beaufort to Mick Beaufort as a tourist attraction. <laughs> Think of the money, Eddie. Dealing with old people. The locals are the only one that can stop this, so if there's enough of them there tomorrow, then we'll see, but yeah. I don't know, there'd I have to be a thing. Do you have, like, neighbours you can let know about it as well? Oh, I can let people know. Looks like your lawn could use a bit of water. That's not why we're here. All oh, right. Sit down and have a spell. When people think of Beaufort and they think of the residents of Beaufort like yourself, yeah. they're going to be thinking of Maccas. Well, we're going to have about 1,500 workers come in. Would you have a few in your house, or...? Oh, I would, yeah. yeah. The, the missus has got that much bloody shit in there. Uh, and I've got to throw it all out. Classic. <laughs> classic. You got a second to talk? Really. We can come back later if you want. Oh, you can never come back then. We can get dinner later. Guys, show some respect, please. I've just got shit to do. No, 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 mate. We won't take long of your time. Seb, mine were in construction and development. How are you? I'm all right. All right, mate. So... Our plan is to um, change Beaufort forever. Don't care what happens with Beaufort. Whatever you're doing, I don't care. We're looking. And I want to get on with my life. We're looking doing a support. sign, mate. Oh, you won't we... get support from me. Would you like a sign out the front saying I you support it? I don't want anything. I just want you to go away. I'll get you, you a sign. Property, I'd like you to leave. We've got pens. We'll get I don't, just don't, not interested. If they put a McDonald's here, Beaufort may as well not be. I wouldn't give it gut room. Well, I had a Big Mac once. Oh, what would you reckon? Right. Took one bite out and threw it out. They want to change the footy club. <laughs> the crows. So they want to turn the crows into the Beaufort Big Macs. Yeah, that won't happen. We've had the Beaufort milk bar for the last 17 years. That was yours? Yeah. yeah. We've just sold that. Well, How is the burger there? Oh, best burger in town, mate. Didn't you see the signs on the wall? They're still there. See, you guys might want to see this. Look, the town was absolutely perfect for the McDonald's, except for the Godfrey's, because it said, home of the best hamburger 
in Beaufort. Yeah. Now, obviously, McDonald's wouldn't let that slide. Yeah. They've got the Big Back, which is the best burger, not only in Beaufort, oh, but in the world. Bullshit. So... Go in. They don't even put bloody beef in. Oh, the fucking... Oh! Home of the second best hamburger, Beaufort. If you we go around there and give it to them, they'd be chuffed. OK. So, you make the best burger in town, do you? Big McDonald's is being built. They're going to have the best hamburger in Beaufort. Uh, you've got a sign that says you've got the best burger in Beaufort. So it might be a bit of a cock off. Ah. Uh, so what's problem now? Ta-da! See it? Uh, uh. <laughs> turn around, turn right, 150 metres, so... Uh, Maybe think about changing it to one of the best burgers. Or do you guys have like a kebab or something you guys sell here? No, no. What's like your best food you sell here? Yeah, Singapore noodle. The best Singapore, Singapore noodle, noodle in town. Well, that was easier than expected. As for the next person, they weren't too sure what they wanted. You like Beaufort? Think it needs a bit of change? Yeah, it does. How much change? Uh, a lot. Yeah? Yeah. You keen? No. No? I don't think so. I thought you wanted to change. Yeah, I do. What sort of change? Uh, I don't know. We continued to hand out flyers to the rest of McBeaufort, and everyone seemed pretty keen. We're looking for licence to even get it 20 storeys high. What? Go to the fair. People don't want all that silly shit. Until we met Graham, who just wanted to celebrate bowls. Donnie's played bowls. Did you? How'd you go? I did have a win, 36-7. Oh, congratulations, Graham. Good on you, mate. There's an eight-car garage at the back with a bar. You right? are speaking our language, Graham. Do you want a beer? No. Wait, to Graham's win. To Graham's win and to Mick Beaufort. Have a look what they're doing, darling. Freaking kidding me. I had the same reaction. How Why bloody in good. A little, cute little town like this. Matt, go away. There's that Dutch. <laughs> Can I say something? Of course. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That'll destroy the town. I mean, momentarily, yes, the town will literally be destroyed. We come to Beaufort because. Beaufort. Before the wife rocked up, you were all for it. No, no, no it kind of sounds like whatever she that. says, you say. What's that on the back of your head? That's, the, that's, that's a thumbprint. Kick under his ass if he agrees with it, I'll tell you what. I wife. changed his tune when you walked out, I'll tell you that much. Beaufort is Beaufort, and destroy it, it's, it'll be terrible. Beaufort's going to change forever. Just to let you guys know. I just opened my Facebook, I wasn't even looking, and this came up. Could you stick up for us a little bit? No. Because <laughs> I, I agree with them. I reckon. No way. I can already hear the construction site churning away. So we've had to temporarily leave the city of Beaufort, so we've just pulled off on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. So it's getting red hot. Word's got now, they have their Facebook page. Someone's posted it saying it's a potential scam because it's a Chinese company. But like, why do they think it's a scam? Like, what have they, we said? They think it's a scam because it's a Chinese company with a Chinese address. And you're also pitching a 20-story McDonald's hotel, like... <laughs> <laughs> I think this Facebook post could make them pull out the pitchforks tomorrow at the town meeting. That come is in. from Nick, a man who's never been to a country town. I don't think that happens, Nick. Well, it was a metaphor. They're going to come <laughs> angry. No, no. I'm more worried that they're not going to come. Mate, they're coming. Now the word had spread across the village, it was time to head home. Today's the day of the town hall meeting. We don't really know how many people are going to be there. There's going to be a lot. I'm genuinely a bit nervous, honestly. We're giving them 24 hours to just come up with some shit. What's the odds someone brings a weapon? You want to wear some Kevlar? I mean, it's not going to stop a baseball bat to the head, is it? Why do you piss right there, bro? <laughs> Same shout, Nick. I'm facing that way and the guy had a camera player in the cop. What guy? Look at that! That is fucking nothing. There's no security cameras there. I'm from the local council. Oh, mate, we've think? been trying to get in contact with someone from the local council. Have you? Yes. Who have you been talking to? No one yet. So you've heard about us? Yes, word's getting about. Will you be at the meeting tonight? I'm planning to come along. Can okay. I get a card? Oh, we don't have a card. Yeah, OK. Seems like quite a scale of project that you guys are looking at. Oh, it's at. exciting. You know where the rotunda is? Yes, prominent feature of the landscape and valued by the local community. It was, yes. Well, we'll see you at 5pm. OK. Bye. He's coming to the meeting. <laughs> Will, are you hearing me? The council is coming to the meeting about us building a fake McDonald's. This is the best thing that could have happened. This is going to be insane. Then so cheap, 50 million for this. All right, to start off. With. Does anybody like a hamburger? 
Chuck a hamburger? No Hamburger? Business name's not even registered in Australia. It's not an Australian company. Makers don't even know who you guys are. We're just getting paid to do a job. From the Shire. Nice to meet you. Can yeah. I get some details? Yeah. ID, driver's license or something? Yep. I'm just a feasibility yeah, consultant. Yeah, no, I'm so. asking the questions. Do you have any business details like ABNs or anything like that? Uh, from Thank the paper. Hmm? And can you not record for the moment, please? Yeah, so. Can you not record for the moment? Who is Mindware? <laughs> it's a Shanghai company. Yeah, a bit more. Who's your boss? I call him Lee. And what agency is that that's subcontracted to him? WeChat. We've got it through WeChat. Yeah. WeChat. Yeah. McDonald's is not welcome here. Normally when we come across things like this, we just move this on. Can you give us 10 minutes? No. It's going to go this way. I will just shut it down. Oh, no, I apologize. No, no. I'm going to check the product counter, though. All right. Mic check. Check one. Check two. Mic check. Can you guys hear me at the back? Check one. Check, check. Check two. One, two. Checking. Mic check. Checking, checking, checked. Ladies and gentlemen of our beloved town, I introduce you to the Beaufort McDonald's Hotel. <laughs> Save all applauses for the end, please. Thank you for gathering here today to discuss an important matter that concerns the future of our community. Today I stand before you to address a building development proposal that has the potential to shape the landscape of our town for years. It is crucial that we engage in open dialogue and consider all perspectives before making decisions that will impact the fabric of our community forever. Our town is a tapestry of voices, each contributing to the unique character that we hold dear. Hello residents of Beaufort. Can you hear over the fire sirens guys, is that okay? Mate. Open communication. Nah, mate, I wouldn't hate this <laughs> Equally, it is important that the preservation of the town's heritage and identity as we consider this proposal. They would like to get rid of these buildings and make way for the new McDonald's. So first, let's prioritise aspects of our community that make it unique. I encourage each and every one of you to actively participate in the upcoming community forums and meetings. Your voices matter. Let us approach this process with an open mind, a willingness to listen, and a commitment to find common ground. In conclusion, the town stands at the crossroads, and the decisions we make today will resonate for generations to come. Now, would anyone like to say something? Mic check, checking, checking, checked. You had some words. What are you going to say, for God's sake? How do you feel about the proposal? Yes, I think it'll be good. No, mate. No? Yes. They've stuffed the town. <laughs> yeah, no, I reckon it'll be a good thing for both of them. Round of applause. What if I told you? Yeah about 5% off all McDonald's for the first week of the grand opening for local residents only. Woo! What about the, um, the part that you haven't said about there'll be no local jobs, that you're gonna be everywhere green from overseas, that the materials for the buildings will be brought in from overseas. So how's that gonna help the local community? It's just and an economic decision. No, 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 no. Then what about all these young kids that won't have jobs? We won't have a bakery. You're going to sit on the community for 12 months while you build all this. 16. You mentioned overseas jobs. Yeah. There will be opportunities for children to apply for jobs as it's still cheap labour. That's about right. Yeah, mate. What about, hey. what about all the heritage listed places in Beaufort that you're just going to fucking knock down? Let me stop you there. Fear not. The first Happy Meal of the month will have a miniature sized rotunda as a commemoration to the rotunda. I think you can go get Mick fucked. <laughs> I'm actually from the local paper and I'm curious where this would be built. You're standing on it. Oh, really? Yep, you're standing on it. Really? Well, there you go. I think you're barking up the wrong alley. When are you proposing to build it? ASAP as possible. My opinion is that all you're going to do is have replace these shops, you get rid of them, and then there's no opposition 
at all to your business. So you're eliminating any opposition. That is correct, yes. That's a fair point. And those people are that's good. There doesn't seem to be any substance to what you're doing. Saying that children are cheap labour, that's, you know, a bit tongue in cheek. Uh, I did think that was a bit. Please don't film me, by the way. I have not by you, given mate. permission for anyone to film me. And you didn't ask that, which is what the gentleman, sunglasses on the left, who's eating something. It was actually a cheeseburger, quite good. Yeah. Over this way. Yes, lady at the back. I just think that this whole presentation is unbelievably unprofessional. I think the way that you're speaking, particularly the gentleman eating at the moment, the way that he supping his face, the way that he is addressing people in the crowd. My boss paid for this. I don't don't care who. It is completely particularly disrespectful to us the way you were speaking to people. I understand your concern. Well said. Can I offer you a mineware keychain no, light? Certainly not. A what? Mine? It's a, it's a light. I don't want to be on a keychain. Some of your rubbish. Well, this was months too happy meal toy. It's a toy shop. That is an insult to be offering toys to people and you're giving out McDonald's food, which is unbelievably unhealthy and kids toys as a bribe. I think it's appalling. Near here. May all the people for the Beaufort McDonald's Hotel, can you just give us a big yes? Three, two, one. Yes. Yes. If you are against the Beaufort Beaufort McDonald's Hotel, could you just give us a no? Three, two, one. No! Go and eat your bloody McDonald's somewhere else. Well, I have a few questions. And I have your answers. Are there any guarantees that the complex would be completed in the event that the company went into liquidation? I think that's above our pay grade. (laughs) Any other questions? So, are you going to knock down the fire station as well? The fire station made of wood will be knocked down, yes. What happened to the bushfire country of Beaufort while you're building it? Well, that's a good question because it's made out of wood, so... It's already going to be moved anyway. It's already going to be going down. Are you guys prepared to relocate existing Rotunda? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. If- what about... wouldn't do that. Hey, hey. That you'd put a little dicky one in your fucking mansion. Oh. Well... There is talks about making a small display one in the McDonald's hotel. That's, that's not good enough. The rotunda isn't even I think I've time. heard enough of your shit, it's so I'm going time. home. If on the count of three, I could get all local residents to just give me their best ba da 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 Three, two, one. One more, for good measure. Three, two, one. ba da 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 that concludes the presentation. Thank you all for coming down. I can't explain Sorry, how I'm disgusted I am. We have to go to a bar mitzvah at like 6.30. So. Oh, we've got a bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs>